guys, Nick Everest here. Today we're going to be focusing on this part of this painting, which is of Point Addis on the Victorian coastline. Um, I have made a few different videos breaking down this painting and also one of the whole piece. So check out my YouTube channel uh, to see all the different videos. But yeah, we're focusing on this section today about how to create this the texture in the waves and how to make them look like they're moving. Uh, I'll go through the materials I use and then let's get started. So I've got my ocean um, palette here, blue, um, deep yellow, some Mars black and some white. And I'm just going to mix up a darker blue with the blue, the black, a little bit of the yellow. And I'm going to use that um, to paint the sea that's further away. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on my brush and I'm going to paint that in through here, through the horizon line. There. And then I'll go through and block out all the darker sections. I'll pop the template in the video to make it really easy to decipher which section is which that you can follow along with. Once I've done all the darker sections, I just add a little bit more of the titanium white and block in the lighter sections as well. You can go ahead and uh, do this using your template. So, as I'm going, once I've laid the paint down, I'm then just going to feather over the top of it a little bit like this, um, just to sort of already start that feel of that's the, the movement and the way it's going. So basically just very lightly moving my paintbrush in this direction. If, I think it just, on this layer, if you can start sort of adding a little bit of texture, even on the under layers, that when that, that shines through, uh, let you know you don't have to fully cover over the top then because it's already got a little bit of texture happening And it just helps get that feeling of movement. I think perfect So then as we're going into this area um, And in through here, it's a lot lighter. So and in here it starts to add, be a little bit more green So I'm just gonna add a little bit more yellow So I'll go ahead and do that So now that all the layers are down, as you can see, when I feathered here, I've sort of kept it very flat. But then as I'm going um, through here, it's actually the waves sort of coming up over here and then rolling over and then coming back down towards the beach. So yeah, actually, if you can feather in the movement that it's going to go. So it's going slightly down and then flattening out and then down again and then this will then join in with the beach to do these waves through here which are not breaking so that the water's just rolling up and then over what I like to do is I just get a darker blue so similar to this color that we've used up here and then I just go ahead and just add a solid line of this where I want my waves to be. So I haven't, I've left this bit here, um, which is a bit confusing. So I'm gonna go back over, because I there's gonna be a wave, ah, uh, actually I want the wave to go like that, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just gonna feather out that line. There we go. So just add that dark color all the way along the top of where you want that wave, so where the, the peak is going to be. And then, then what we do is then we drag this colour. So you don't want to go straight across because that makes it look flat. So you want to drag this colour down and then across. 
to give it that it's rolling over the wave. So just all the way down and then across all the way. And you can sort of, you know, you don't have to drag, you can sort of leave some of the very, so the some sharp bits of the line there. And then you just go and sort of do that all the way along. And then what you can do is actually get a little bit more on your brush you get a little bit of water. So a little bit of water and then you can feather this all the way along this dark color. So you've gone down and across and just add that texture all the way along towards that next wave. Now this bit up here is a little bit wet so it's it really needs to be a little bit dry before you start doing this. And then that, that sort of gives that movement of that wave coming through and across. And then we're gonna do the same thing behind this wave. So then there's another wave that's sort of doing a similar thing through here. So then behind this wave, we're gonna do the same thing. I think we're just gonna feather up to the wave. So you could start slowly sort of curving it. So you can start feathering it sort of up to the wave like that. And then as we're getting closer down into this section, you can actually bring it up and over the wave. In this section here, when we go with a smaller pen, so this is actually going like this, but then so the, the water is actually coming, the water is actually coming from behind and then coming up and over this way. But then further down, we don't actually get to see that from this angle. So you just, just giving the impression that the water is coming up behind here. And just feathering that, that same sort of movement back and forth. Just adding texture. So we're going to come through with a, um, a smaller brush soon. If you can see that looks like it's coming up and over and then this waves that's sort of the peak of it here. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and do that movement um, for this wave, this wave and then start it on this wave. So you're going to just brushing down with that darker colour. This bottom one, do the same thing. So do a solid line at the top here. And then you're gonna drag, because this one is, we from this angle, we can see both sides of this way. So you're gonna get your brush and just feather it up on an angle. This one we're actually making it a little bit more curvy, so it's sort of on an angle just like that, all the way up to this point. Just sort of blend in the edges there by gently feathering across like that. And then you're going to bring that down onto this side as well. So I like to keep a little bit of moisture on my brush, but not too much. Bring it over the top. Just by curving over the top, just like that. And we're gonna we're gonna bring that all the way down in through here. So we're gonna keep going. That through. So that's 
I'm going to come down, up again over here, and then down onto the beach. And there's actually sort of a, a wave in through here. I'll just draw a solid line. So especially for this section, we're going to have to add quite a few layers because um, some of the paint's washed, wiping away because it is still a little bit wet. But the main thing is to just keep your brush strokes going in the movement of the wave so that you really get that effect. So I want to um, mix up some green. So that we can go be going back over this wave a little bit and just sort of blending in those dark navy lines that we've just made. There we go. So really a lot of this is just about layering and with each layer you want to be leaving a little bit of the under colour um, shining through and that's what's going to give that depth and that movement. So I'm going to go through in another video this section and how we're really going to be adding that depth to the water. But first I want to go through and finish this section, but I'm just going to let it dry for a minute first. Um, and then we're going to go through adding all the, the final details of these waves. Okay guys, this area is getting a little bit drier now. So I'm just going to go back over with a, fine, with a smaller brush and we're going to add in some more of those details. So just mixing up at that darker blue again. And we're going to just um, do the same movement we did before with the bigger brush, bringing that, those marks down and then across. A lighter blue, so just mixing in some white. To go and blend some of those marks in. I've just got a little bit of a lighter colour now and just adding in some texture. So just that same movement. But this time I'm just sort of going one way only. And same thing, if we're going up onto this wave, that same movement of coming down and then across. Perfect. And then I'm going to keep adding those details. I've got my medium brush here. I'm just going to keep adding those highlights in through here. I'm just going to go back over with some of the dark now. So I've sort of lightened it up a lot and now I'm just gently feathering through some darker. Again, just dragging it down from that 
of that way. So basically you can just keep going over lighter to darker to lighter to darker until you get the desired effect that you, you like. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. I might add a few more highlights just to add a little bit more depth. Overall, I'm pretty happy with just this section here, how that's looking. And we're all finished. Thanks guys for following along with this How to Paint a Wave tutorial. If you did like this video, please like, comment and share with your friends. Also send through any images or pictures you have of your own wave paintings, I'd love to see them. If you'd like to see the other videos uh, for this painting of how to paint the rocks, the shrubs, the shadows and the depth in the water, please visit my YouTube channel. I also have a video of the whole painting on there as well. And thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you next time.